Quiet, everyone. It's time for the roll. Quiet roll call. Like the teacher in the front, that's with a book. I'm about to call your name out before y'all look. Miss Pam in the big D starting with you. Then we go down south to the southern crew. Mama Margaret, Alicia, how y'all be? From the bottom to the top and call an LLC. Caleb, Josiah, and Sasha too. Can't forget about Kia just because she knew. Miss Meech, Lynn K, and Lady BC. Janice, Miss Mary, and the Johnson family. Know y'all ready to come see our show? I got six more names that's on the road. Marilyn Cuz and Miss I Am. We just so glad you're part of the fam. A life in between, that's who we be. About to end this road with the final three. As you watch our story, just have some fun. Corbin, Melba B, and the exquisite one. Hey guys, if you like our channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you do not miss an upload. Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. See how they got spectator parking? We would have something like that. How's everyone doing? We've been away for a while. I got videos of hauls that I just never had the chance to to edit. Um, to upload. So, yeah. So currently, we're just we just left one of the tracks to, that we're hosting a meet at um, to look up the setup. And now we're heading to the storage to look for track stuff. It's cold. It's starting to warm up. It's 52 now, but it dropped to what 20 something. Yeah, it was it was cold. It was very and it the wind it was it was called gale wind and some other cyclone something they call it. Um I was looking at the security camera this morning and realized the wind was so strong it like opened our uh privacy fence. And it ain't already secure strong enough anyway. Yeah. It I'm just trying to much. figure out how to even break the lock. It don't take much. Or did it just take a separated. good push? Yeah. It was so it, it would have to be a good I think in some areas they were saying tornado warning I think. yeah it was tornado we were in a tornado warning until like 5 a.m it's just the lord knows what he's doing jesus but it was like rain tornado threats and freezing temperatures it was just different and this is like probably what the third time that's happened like like not normal weather kind of things like this But yeah, that's what we're doing. We just wanted to show our faces. What you got? About anything. One, two, three, go. Just want to let y'all know, stay safe. Yeah. Seem like uh, not saying people dropping the guard, but it seems like it is getting better with the virus situation. Yeah. But I know some of y'all may know some people that may not have gotten uh, vaccinated, and they are strong. I know I saw something up on the news feed about. They're trying to figure out why certain people didn't get sick. <laughs> yeah. Thinking, okay, certain people was probably very careful. And the fact I, that they believe even me, do I'm that, not that's saying crazy. if you got sick, you wasn't careful. <laughs> I'm not saying that because there are a lot of times I've went somewhere and went through my whole process and getting back home, washing up and cleaning. I think did I have my mask on when I went in that store for two minutes and. You just in your mind your so mind. powerful. Yeah. Oh, my throat hurt. Yeah. Oh, I got. A, oh. <laughs> you know, you can, we can talk up the virus on yeah, ourselves. Be, true. you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's so true. So, but yeah, but it it's, it feels somewhat normal. I'm seeing a whole lot more free freedom kind of thing going, and I know our numbers have picked up for track with kids. Parents are now oh feeling God, more comfortable. Yes. yes. <sighs> And, and I get it. We, we do have an outside sport. We actually, you know, practice safe distancing and all the things as much as possible within our organization. You know, Which I feel like a lot of times we did anyway. Yeah. Like, even before. Oh, my God. What is it doing? It's practice. Getting ready for rush, I guess. I don't know. It just don't look like it's supposed to look like that. That's the thing. That's a very big plant. It looks like it's falling. That's the thing. It's real close to the trees. We we seeing like what we call it's called like the big birthday for those that know apple. I'm gonna flip it real quick and show you. You know, 
we I think we did a video two years ago. Y'all probably ain't seen none probably of them not. yet. Mm -hmm. you know, so I know I made one and told y'all when we made it. Y'all probably ain't seen that one yet. Today is the eleventh of March. Tell me where y'all gonna see this one. She keeps saying we need to record. We it's need to record. 12th. Today's like, the twelfth. Today's the twelfth. I'm trying to get you the benefit of the doubt. I guess. I don't know. Well, I don't even know. Every day is Friday. I just wish we could just do live videos and you didn't have to edit. But you gotta have so many. Like, you can't do live over your phone. Please don't hit this lady trying to get to work. Oh, God. Oh, well. So, we have made it to the storage. This is gonna be fun. Okay. A hole in the road and got a patch on That's a big hole in the road. That's a rim busting. That's a sue somebody. So we will come back. Um, we may have date night tonight. We, uh, one of our athletes is a part of um, a couple of our athletes. Couple of them, sorry, I forgot about that. Uh, it's called Lamp Lighters, and they do their annual step show. So we got tickets. Um, so we're gonna go to the opera last night, but we didn't do that because we have someone that had tickets. But we'll come back. Hello y'all, y'alls, all my head, hog, so it, depending on where you're from. I broke it down to the kids, you know, it's spring break here in Pensacola, Florida. Actually from the, I think it's the 13th to the 17th, something like that, whatever. This in April, I'm like, yeah, I don't know when y'all gonna see April, this video. April, it's March. March. Okay, well maybe April when y'all see the video. Probably, but anyway. But anyway, I broke it down to, you know, new kids. I do it every season. You know, stop breaking down some of the little processed stuff that I eat and some of them I know I ain't never even heard of. And boy, it was, they was, we talking about some faces yesterday. His people don't eat pig ears and pig's feet. I said, yeah, I eat everything from the rooter to the tutor. And they just fell out. I'm going to have to take pictures when we get over here to get this hog head cheese so we can post on the app, the team app, so the kids can see. That I cut on number 12. When I go <laughs> and they all, I know the number they supposed to cut it on. You ain't got to ask me what. I, number 12 <laughs> on the meat cutter. Nice. It ain't too thin. It ain't too thick. It's just right there to the point where when you put it on that crap, my mouth watering right now, y'all. I is, just can't help you myself. You need to call, get, Ms., get Mr. O'Neill and Miss Charlotte something. Oh, no. Drop them I something. Ain't, you ain't finna do all that riding around. You're so not nice. Mm -hmm. So I know they'll never see this video, so I can talk like that while. Well. How you know? Because you giving out the doggone video stuff to the kid. They ain't watched it since then, probably. Yeah, right. Because Aaron watched my videos. <laughs> so I'm like. Well, yeah, I'm different. <laughs> <laughs> He's different, so. Yeah, well, my, I, I, I try to go at least. I've been I, I, once every two weeks at least. But the, what he get could last a month, but he just grew. That's the her. That's the her. When you eat it, you got to eat it. That's just like eating two scoops of ice cream in a bowl. And, uh, that's, whatever you do, if y'all try new ice cream, do not spend your money on black walnut ice yes, cream. Yes, you do. It's it amazing. Will suck. You ever had your taste buds ball up in your mouth and just go back to the hook? Yeah, that's what happened with sauce and chitlins and pig beans. <laughs> <laughs> Not with black walnut ice cream. Oh my goodness. I'm like, Speaking of that, I need to go get some more. I only got a smidgen. It tasted like Amazing. bad. You know, you, I don't know if you ever had old medicine. You know, medicine already bad. Like, like rest in me. You ever had NyQuil and this just, now just think if your NyQuil was out of uh, this, ugh, then she gonna get mad at me cause I threw it away. I, All you had to do was take a bite, not fix a whole plate full, not a bowl. ice cream and I had it. We it's had ice cream. some whatever, and cookies, he had all, oh my cookies and everything That's and he just threw right? the whole can thing I, away. Can I, they touched that, ugh. Next time he would not so get anything. I'm not even the stuff I, that I like. I'm not even buying that. I just, I just yes, refuse. You she can buy. You finna buy. Ugh. Please don't lie to these people. <laughs> <laughs> I see my Walmart don't have that on a continuous basis. That stuff is so bad. Ooh. I have been waiting for Black Walnut at least for three, almost three years now, and couldn't find it anywhere, especially during the pandemic. It was nowhere. To be
to be found. So when I be going in there now, y'all know us. When y'all know I'm talking about when she ice your wife or your girlfriend or your jet side, whatever y'all got went there with, and they ice you for something. So how you, you in just the gonna say your 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 husband, your wife, your wife your and then your side is. piece? Whatever y'all what? got, and you go to the store to get them something, and they call you, hit you up while you're in the store, and they actually, you kind of just. I asked no, for they a didn't have No, I asked for like, was she, it Neapolitan or something? Both. No, she I didn't even, I, I don't even she ask for black. Did. She probably did. I don't know. You Being surprised as me. Sweet as I am. Yes, you surprised me. Get it right. Being big daddy as I be. Yeah. I probably did. He, it, but he found it. I think I just oof. asked for Neapolitan or something because, or vanilla bean because that's I can't all even they've ever had. describe how it, so, and he came home with it. You ever had dirt and then oh take my. some dirt He's and mix so it? so drastic. That's the nasty. <laughs> so we're not getting chicken. Chicken? You said you didn't want to go over there. We, if we well, do, you we're said going no. first. You I don't want no. none. So it's okay. Yeah, I, uh, I can do that. Damn, I just had chicken two days in a row. I'll take one day break and then have it again. But I do have to wear their chicken strips be off. They'd be off the chain. Yeah. So we are heading to get hog head cheese. And I will try to record. Um, their bacon is everything. Like, everything. So we, we've been starting to get bacon from there. Yeah, I just wish it was thicker. I don't know what's in that. Do they slice it or is it already I don't know, but I'm going to find out if they do thicker. Because it's, it's really good cured bacon. Really yeah, good. very good. Like your whole house smells like a smokehouse. Like the only issue I have is just not as thick. I like thick bacon. I know a lot of people like the thin bacon. I don't. I mean, to each his own. But you know, you do thin bacon. You need twenty slices to make a bacon sandwich. That's what I mean. He had on his two sandwiches today, <laughs> <laughs> or three, however many he ate. <laughs> two. But what yeah. happened to the other bacon then? I ate it by myself. You didn't eat it. You didn't want so he had 20 strips of bacon for himself <laughs> this morning. She didn't want none. I said, did she want some? You know, he asked. You know, you asked, but you hope somebody don't say I yes. I left it there. I might have already fix my sandwiches. Pretty to go send out later. I left sandwiches some bacon. Sandwiches with? A, a S, yes, plural. Thick, nice, good two hands. I love that. A lot of traffic. You wait it's, till the crash okay. time to go. I'm going to try to go out the fire. Boy, it's eight minutes. Uh, I, I was up and rolling, and I wash her. Been Ooh, on the fritz for, for about, three months, and it's been the, so. I, I, I've been have to go to the because I take care of the laundry at the house, so I go to the laundromat. Not you know just because we have to as an emergency. Oh my goodness, it's been. You've been doing this for three weeks now, right? You know, almost a month. Basically, yeah, basically it's about seven dollars per load now. You know, and depending on if I'm watching Easter stuff, you're watching it twice. And then it, it takes about three dollars and fifty cent to drive one load. Which he don't have to drive there. He just I just rather does do it. that and come on home and fold them. But I can't even do that. It depends, but oof. It's been very aggravating. We've been on the phone with Lowe's almost every single day. I call every day. So call the day. It's supposed to be something hopefully done here yeah. within the next 24 and 40 hours. Get the first notice. And they did, what they're saying is that the people that came, because we knew the bottom service plan and one blah blah blah. The people that came out to look at it said, hey, we can fix it and it's going to cost you X number of dollars to fix it. Lowe said, well, the washing machine itself, brand new, don't even cost that much. And, you know, the washing machine come up, it's almost $700. Yeah, so, so now we're getting a whole new washing. So they're going to replace the whole new thing, they say. What is that, Maytag? A Maytag, yeah. I will have to find this, the model number, don't it's, buy it. It's a Maytag, and it has the agitator in yeah. it. It's supposed to be. It got all the bells and whistles. It's sang a song. But do they give us? Beginning. They're giving us a check, or they're giving us the no, same I'm model? Not washer. I don't care what they get. It'll last. We we bought it. Yeah, like it'll, in it'll last a year, just like this. We one. bought it in nineteen. No, we bought it in twenty twenty. It wasn't last year. I thought it was last year. No, we bought it in twenty twenty. And believe me, I I be. We didn't brought up. something every year. I be tearing up. When I say wash, if it's yeah. a wash, I'm gonna let you. You gonna wash. And I try to wash once, maybe twice a week at the most. Try to break down. I was things against. You wash every thing. day. 
I don't even know what you're talking about. Every day, no, I you don't watch at it. At home, just about no, you I watch don't. every day. What do I watch every day? Tom. Um, no. You be in there washing clothes every day. Well, the only day he I, say he don't is like on the weekend because we ain't at the house. If you use twenty towels, he use thirty two rags a day. He watches. She'll every get day. up and wash one right side now, of her face. Right now he's washing a, a couple times a week because he has to go to the laundromat. She'll get another rag and wash the other side of her face. Yeah. She get another rag and wash the back of her neck. Yeah. Then she get another rag and wash the forehead. So that's four rags just to wash her face. Of course I gotta wash. <laughs> Whatever. So. And I guess I must got the heebie-jeebies or something. Cause if I draw with a towel, she won't draw with the same towel. You don't what? And I'm thinking to myself, what in the world? No, when his when he draw, it be soaking wet, like soaking <laughs> wet. I'm just like. Did you just like dry off and then take the towel and stand back in the shower to get it completely drenching wet? Like, yeah. I take that personally, y'all. So nice. somebody comment on that for me. Because he used to be a lot of trees around. Yeah, it's the water side, that's why. No, I'm saying they used to have a lot of trees oh. back then. I wouldn't mind staying like that. Yeah. Would you, would you buy a lot there? Oh, yeah, when we can put much house on it, we need some small lots. How many people got to go vertical? Really? Us? With an elevator? Oh, really? Okay. I don't even know if they'll allow you to have one in this small area. Some this of place. these houses are so old, it looks like they bought the bro That one definitely bought it down. It probably cost seven, eight, seven, eight hundred thousand oh, dollars for the plot. Yeah. That's the main one. I don't think they're that expensive over here. On the wall? Yesterday, that don't went up so dramatic. Just Two and three bedroom houses, three and four hundred thousand dollars. Like what? Yeah. And it looked like somebody just up like, okay. So if we sold our house, we would make a nice profit. But to rebuild it, Lord Jesus, we would not. We would have to take out another loan because that's just how crazy the inflation has happened with building supplies and everything else in this world. Well, you know, some of their had houses, and then when these storms messed them up, then I guess well, that's that was what I'm saying. They, they had a uh, lot, and then because I, I can guarantee you, ain't no HOA over there. So are those houses back on this street on the water? Yeah, that <laughs> little, yeah, that water. Everything on this right side as we drive. Cell phone. There's a couple of subdivisions that we're coming up on. You get the homeless camps out there, right there. Oh, it is? Yeah, I see a bunch of tents. I didn't know that. I didn't either. It's like the stuff you really don't pay attention to. I've never been down this street. You're the high class homeless. They on the wall. You know what? That's <laughs> Finally, that house, I was like, somebody must have lost that. Because, you know, that, that subdivision was there. Started a long time ago, and it was like one house, and then it was nothing. So, somebody must have ran out of money. So we, we should have one of the pools. You know, it's been kind of quiet. I don't even really hear nothing. Nobody talks on the, the little the little thing next door. <laughs> so we just wanted to say hello. Um, and thanks for bearing with us. We've just been busy, so busy.
looking. I wonder if that would be. Might be good with the. Look at some of their baits. You want to try a couple? Oh, you don't think that there? Appreciate All right, guys, so we've made it back home, and I'm going to show you the quick little haul of stuff that we got. He went, I mean, he did get his hog head cheese, but that's already in the refrigerator. He got mild and hot for those that were curious, but let me show you the other stuff. Um, we got some of the bacon that we normally get from the um, Alberta grocery. It's amazing. But the sausage that we get here in the South is Koneka sausages. But now they have a bacon. And my cousin has been, t he, she told me about this probably over a year ago. But in Pensacola, we can't find it. So it's always normally in Alabama. And so I just happened to wander over by the um, other bacon section because this came from the butcher part. Um, and I saw it. Why was this bacon $16? This better be the best darn bacon ever. Um, their sausages are like no other. Like, we do not eat any other sausages, um, outside of, uh, Koneka. So, high expectations. We'll let you know how it tastes. Got some double stuffed Oreos. Waters for Easter. We got a bunch more. But I'm not gonna film all of them. Um, Michael got some gummies, worms, and um, the gummy lifesavers. Got some more chips. Um, Michael ended up getting two, no, three distilled waters. Uh, and we got a five pound thing of hamburger meat. We're gonna do tacos tonight. And that's the other waters. Simple, quick. Um, we hopefully, we'll be um, going back to the commissary and Sam soon um, to stock up more on meat. Everything has definitely went up. His the steel water used to be like fifty cents, and now it's like a dollar and eight. <laughs> and that's what he uses for his uh, CPAP machine. So it's it's a must. It's not like oh, we just went and just yeah. So a lot of stuff outside of gas is definitely um, going up uh, a considerable noticeable amount. So we will see you guys in the next one.